Okay, in this video we're going to go over user groups and permissions. To get started, let's go to our file menu and click on user groups permissions. By default, we have five groups. Administrators, leaders, parents, scouts, and users. During the import, we put all of your scouts into the scouts group, your parents into the parents group, and everyone else into the users group. Before you send your users their user ID and password, you may want to go over these groups and make sure they are suitable for your, your unit. For instance, parents group has access to read, the scout personal, parents, medical, advancement, leadership, and training. They also have read access to adult personal, but no access to medical awards, leadership, or training for adults. They also will have access to themselves and their child or children. You may want to change this in your unit so that they also have read access to their medical information. And if you wanted to do that, you would just change medical to read and then click save. So before you send out any of your settings to your users so they can log into the site, just make sure that the groups that they're in by default are set up like you would like them. Let's go over each one of these areas in a little more detail. First, we have group permissions which lets you assign the level of access each user in this group has to each one of these areas. For instance, for activities, you have none, which means they have no access to activities. Read, which means they can look at your activities. Write, which means they can edit your activities. And add slash delete, which means they can add and remove activities from your database. You also have point of contacts, merit badge counselors, fundraising, ledger, adult personal medical, awards, leadership and training, scout personal, scout parents, medical, advancement, leadership and training, We also have other permissions. You can optionally give them permission to customize your website, edit your custom filters, edit your newsletter, send email or text, and upload unit documents. We also have edit their child medical, edit their child personal, edit their self medical, and edit their self personal. Now what these four will do is, is override the read permission for personal and medical on adults and scouts, but just for themselves or their children. So for instance, if they had access to all adults and only read access to personal, and you had edit their self personal selected then they would be able to edit their own personal information but not everyone else's and the same goes for the other three now for hidden fields you can hide from the users BSA ID date of birth driver's license, 
personal documents, remarks slash other, and vehicular information. Let's go to group access. The group access screen lets you control who each person in this group can see. You can give them access to themselves, their child or children, all scouts, all adults. You can give them access to specific patrols. You can select individual scouts from the list of scouts. You can also select adults from a list of adults. In addition to the member selected up here, you can also allow them to see everyone on the reports in this list. So let's say for instance you have a user and you want them to be able to have write permission to the adult personal information. So you would set adult personal to write and they will only be able to write to themselves but you want them to see the adult personal information for everyone, for all the adults in the troop. You would select the adult personal data report from this list and then on the edit screens they will only be able to get to themselves but on the report they will be able to see everyone. The third tab lets you assign users to this permission group. So right now you can see these are all the users that are currently in the parents group and if you wanted to add additional users to the group you can use the filter here to filter out the users everyone that's not in a group or that are that is in the default users group is listed here in this filter in default users group so that would be anyone that's not assigned to any particular group you just select a little plus next to their name and then they're in the group and when you're done changing the permissions on your group you just click save group and now you can see there's zero users in the users group and now we have 18 parents let's go over how to create a new group to create a new group, we click on Add New. A new group is created. We can change its name. Let's go ahead and create one called New Members. We're going to use this group later when we go over the quick entry dialogues for scouts and adults. Let's give read access to activities, point contacts, merit batch counselors, fundraising, ledger, that's all fine. Let's change ledger to none. And then we're going to give write access to adult personal, adult medical, adult awards leadership 
and training. We're going to give right access to all the scout areas as well. And then under group access, we're going to give them access to themselves and their child, and that's it. And let's go ahead and save this. All right, well, in this video, we went over the default permission groups. We went over how to assign permissions to each area of the database, how to assign which members of your unit each user has access to, and also how to assign users to a particular group.